And we begin tonight with an Action 13 update to a story you only saw on this station last week. A Meyerland homeowner locked in a legal battle with strangers who'd moved into a rental home and would not leave. That homeowner reached out to us and we got results. ABC 13's Maya Shea live in Meyerland with the resolution, Maya. That's right. We were first told about this last Wednesday. On Thursday, we came and visited the house, and we couldn't even get in because the locks had been changed. Well, today, it's Monday. The locks have been changed back to something the homeowner can use. And at least in this case, it seems we have a resolution. Let's see what we find in here today. Just last week, Linda Jiang couldn't get into the house she owns. They locked me out of my own property. That's crazy. But today, the people who had been living in her home were gone, and Jiang could once again open her own house door. Yeah, they didn't well, thank you for coming out here to do the story. I think that was a great help. But getting here wasn't easy. Jiang says it appears the woman identified as Tamisha Holmes Bay had lived in the house with several others for almost a month. And when we saw her last week, she insisted she had a legitimate lease and is new to Texas. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that me and my kids moved here to start a new life. From where? from California. But public records show Holmes Bay has lived in Texas for decades and has been involved in civil and criminal cases in several Texas counties. A woman with her name had three evictions on record in Fort Bend County in the past four years. Veteran eviction attorney Brian Serwin says he's seen these situations increase in recent years. So we're seeing a rise in this kind of uh, fraudulent documents, people breaking into nice homes and trying to squat there. We're seeing a rise over the past year of this. I've been doing this for 25 years. I can't say I've seen as much of it in years past. Last week, Houston police said this was a civil matter, but over the weekend, police determined the lease was fake and told Holmes Bay her group needed to leave by Monday morning or face trespassing charges. It worked. It was very frustrating uh, having to deal with this, but now I'm happy that she's gone. And I'm hoping that yeah, legislators will do something and change the law to help protect homeowners rather than the squatters. Jiang says until the laws change, she may get out of the rental home business altogether just to avoid another situation like this. In Houston, Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.